Yesterday, I was asking myself, what is something I can make people aware about now that we're heading into an era of technology? Well, after minutes of serious thinking, I had the perfect idea. I was going to talk about artificial intelligence. It was something I had dug into before and did my fair bit of research on, something I knew quite well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've been seeing it on the news or on social media as of lately. A revolutionary field, a new wave of modern technology, a step towards complete automation. You might think of them as computers which have near human intelligence, able to recognize, able to understand dialogue, recognize sound, analyze surroundings, and possibly even feel emotions. It is safe to say that this is indeed becoming a reality. One of the first instances AI was properly used was back in 1956 by a man named Arthur Samuel, a notable computer scientist who used, art, who used machine learning in order to create the first checkers playing computer. This computer even went on to beating the Connecticut State Champion in 1962. But what was the science behind making this AI? You might think it was quite a job writing the algorithms, the code, on all the possible moves and outcomes that happened during a checkers game. Well, in actuality, there's a simple yet logical concept behind all of this. What Arthur Samuel did was smart and efficient. Instead, he gave the computer all the basic rules of the checkers game and let it play it thousands of times. This allowed the AI to record and store the possible moves and how to counteract them. Not only was it limited to this, as, as the computer played against itself uh, and humans, it recorded the patterns and according to that would play the next move. Who knew such a simple checkers computer would lead to a future of artificial intelligence being used almost everywhere around us? Take for example, take for example this phone. A regular touch device from the outside, nothing special, but when you, but when you turn it on, you see it is locked by facial recognition. Now systems such as facial recognition do indeed make use of AI. Using facial patterns and depth sensors, it can take precise measurements of your face and according to that, it will let you unlock your phone. Newer systems such as those on the iPhone are so advanced, they can detect whether a person is wearing glasses or changes such as facial hair growth and acne. Moving on, we now uh, unlock our phone. Open the web browser and type in google.com. Here's another great example of AI being implemented in our daily lives. What Google has done here is they have used uh, popularity, trends, relevancy, speed, and appropriation as well as user preferences in order, to in order to display the right content to you, the user. Now, without the machine learning capabilities of Google, we would be stuck on hours of end, hours on end of skimming through useless data and whatnot. In the 21st century, efficiency is key. And thanks to companies like Google, we are now able to filter out the necessary and acquire the useful. Uh, speaking of acquiring useful information, just recently my father and I decided to head to the annual JITEX that takes place in Dubai. One of the biggest tech conferences in the Middle East, companies from all over the world come together to showcase their innovative products. The main intention of this conference was to have consumers interact with these products, see whether they like it or not, and give their feedback about it. Let me just say, the moment I stepped into the hall, I was exposed to ideas and concepts I never knew existed. From selfie bots to automated coffee machines, all the way to driverless cars and robotic arms that could score perfect basketball hoops. I was fascinated. Now, enough talking about the future. Of, uh, enough talking about the, the wonders of artificial, inte artificial intelligence. Rather, let's talk about its future. What is it now that we expect from artificial intelligence that we're about to hit a 70-year milestone? Well, a uh, study published by the Bank of America states that in, by, the, by 2020, the industry will be worth a staggering $153 billion. To see, to see that this is only a year away is absolutely fascinating. Take a look at this chart. Published by Statista in 2017, it shows why businesses would want to implement um, artificial intelligence into their organization. 84% of them believe it will lead to a competitive, a competitive advantage. Moving on, 75% say it will help diversify their activities, help them enter new markets, new industries. 63% say that it will help reduce costs. But why is that? Automation is key to efficiency and reducing human labor. 
all of which artificial intelligence does provide us. Now, enough talking about enough talking about artificial intelligence. Rather, let me go off topic a bit. We as humans need to be able to use these machines with responsibility, with integrity, and must not uh, and must not misuse it at any cost. It can lead to devastating outcomes, and so we want to prevent that at any cost. Artificial intelligence. Uh, these machines, such as artificial intelligence, give us humans the power and capability to write our future, to change our future. But always remember, as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Thank you.